Welcome to this exam 7410 video short on Windows Deployment Services and DHCP Option 60. Windows Deployment Services is part of the 7411 curriculum, but as part of the 7410 curriculum you will have to configure DHCP including learning about server and scope options. One of the most overlooked options of DHCP configuration is Option 60. Now Windows Deployment Services and DHCP use the same ports, port 67. If Windows Deployment Services and DHCP are installed on the same on the same server, then because they use the same ports, the two services might conflict. So it's important that when Windows Deployment Services and DHCP are installed on the same server, that Windows Deployment Services must be configured to use a different port. This in turn will cause problems with Windows Deployment Server clients or PXE clients, because they will be trying to connect to Windows Deployment Services on a port that do it is that DS is no longer listening out on. So, if you have configured Windows Deployment Services to use a different port, you must also then configure DHCP so that when clients connect, DHCP informs the clients that the DHCP server is also a Windows Deployment Server. This is DHCP Option 60's job, to inform DHCP clients requesting Pixie Boot that the DHCP server is also the Windows deployment server. Now this configuration, if you're using a Microsoft DHCP server, will be automatic. There are a couple of tick boxes that we select, either during installation of Windows deployment services or afterwards, that will configure DHCP option 60 for us. Or if you're using a non-standard DHCP server, you may have to add this option manually. So here we are on our Windows deployment server, and through Server Manager, if we use tools, we can access Windows Deployment Services. Once the Windows Deployment Server Management tool opens up, we can use Servers, Access Servers, Access our, D our Windows Deployment Server, and then View Properties. Now from inside Properties, it's the DHCP tab that we're particularly interested in. So if we go to the DHCP tab, we find the two tick boxes we have been looking for. The first tick box says, do not listen on DHCP ports. So it instructs Windows Deployment Services not to use port 67. The second tick box says, configure DHCP options to indicate that this is also a Pixie server. So it instructs Windows Deployment Services to configure a DHCP server option, option 60, to inform DHCP clients that this machine as well as being a DHCP server is also a Windows deployment server. So if I say apply there, and then use tools to access DHCP, and then take a look at my DHCP server and server options, we'll see option six has been added with the PXE client value. Remember if it's a non-standard or non-Microsoft DHCP server, you may have to add this server option yourself. Look out for more video shorts on the MCSA Server 2012 R2 uh, exam track and feel free to check out my blog www.mgbleads.co.uk